going on and welcome back to a brand new video up on the channel thank you for clicking on it if you do like it please press that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell bing every time i post a video you'll be notified so today as you can see from the background we are doing a blackburn rovers collection video this is going to be in three parts or four parts i've not quite decided so today we're going to be doing the shirt and scarf collection i've got quite a bit so i'm going to shut up and get on with showing you what shirts i've got so my shirt number one is this crown paints shirt i believe this one was from the 2009 2010 season as it says on the back well on the collar there which i absolutely love and i also love the red piping on this as well and the brfc bit on the back obviously with the blue as well and that was actually my favorite shirt when i bought it originally um but yeah so that is shirt number one i'm gonna go ahead and hang that there shirt number two is a very special one this one is also going to be in my autograph one when i do that as well this is again another home shirt from crown paint and again it is very simple with the umbra logo there as well and the sponsor on the back i went for natalie 28 because that is obviously my name and the 28 was a number of a player um i can't remember who i went for and this one again like i said will be in the autograph one because we have two guys signature there from when he played in the legends game at ewa park and also i have another signature here if anybody does recognize these two signatures if you leave in the comments down below who you think has signed that that would be greatly appreciated but yeah so that again i is another home shirt which i absolutely loved so shirt number three is again this crown paint one i wanted a winter one so i went for the long sleeved one uh with the again with the blue uh diamonds on the front as well this one on the back i just went for a plain number nine i think this one was Rocky santa cruz i could be wrong um but again it's got the the very uh stripes which i really liked as well and the really bold numbers on the back and obviously long sleeve as well perfect for winter so that is shirt number three number four we go on to last season the game the season that got us promoted to the championship uh this again is one of my absolute favorite shirts i wear it all the time this is the away shirt um, this is the black and a red design, which it might look navy in the camera, I apologise. But again, by Umbro. And on the back, this one is extra special for me. Because we got promoted, I then went ahead and got it personalised. I'm going to hang it up there and then you guys can see. On the back, I went for one Jack Walker, um, which obviously... You know he's gone but never forgotten so that one i really really like i'll hang that one there so you guys can see that one and again going back to crown paint again this was the one of the away shirts as well now i wasn't too sure about this one with the the split in the lines i wasn't too convinced but it's like you have a collection you have to have the next shirt you have to have the home shirt you have to have the away shirt but yeah, and again, I just went for a very plain number nine on that one. So yeah, and then we go on to the next shirt. Again, this one is a new one by Daffabet. Uh, this is obviously the away shirt as well. Very nice sort of red with the black collar, which I absolutely loved. And then on the back, our nickname as a family was Bazza. Uh, so we went for Bazza because that's our family nickname. And then number 29. Again, it had the very nice gold uh, logos and the obviously the, the logos there as well, which again, we absolutely loved. And the, the nice collar as well. So that is that shirt. And then one of my all-time favourites is the black and white Bet 24. Who loves, who still loves this shirt? Oh my god, I absolutely love it. Um, again, just the basic stripe, blue, uh, black and red, which again, I absolutely love. And then in the collar as well, you have the club um, official, basically the Black and Rovers thing. And then on the back, I actually think get anybody's name for this one which is very unlike me so that is this one 
And moving on again to my next shirt is the Zebra Claims uh, shirt. This was a very pale uh, teal green mint colour, um, which again, I absolutely loved it when I first bought it, but I now can't stand it. Um, again, you've got the, the Blackburn Rovers old logo there, which I absolutely love. I think that is absolutely beautiful. And you've got the blue collar as well. Um, like I said, originally I did buy it and I absolutely loved it because the logo was in black. Black against blue. I absolutely love it. Ah, so that is that one. And again, on that one, I didn't... Oh yeah, I got Natalie 11 on the back for that one. And moving on again, we have the... Crown paint a red away shirt as well. Again, just the black down the sides, which again I absolutely loved, and obviously the basic um, home logo. And again, I don't think. Oh yeah, I got Natalie twenty eight on the back of that one this time. Again, just the very plain white um, embroidery on the back there. And moving forward again, we go back to Daffodet. Uh, again, this is one of the home shirts, which I loved as well, because it had the, the red piping down the side, which I absolutely loved. And obviously you had the the Umbro logo there as well. And then on the back there was Bell 15 in memory of my granddad, who died in 2015 of cancer. So we got his name printed on the back of that one. So I'm going to put that one that way, because that one is a rather special shirt for me. And finally, the last one I have is the very first one I got, Princess Trust. Um, that's how long I've supported Rovers for. Um, I did have another one before that, but sadly it got destroyed. Um, you know, anyway. But this one, again, I really love the red piping. And I also like the blue at the back of the collar as well with the Princess Trust logo in red and the sleeves in red. I think that one was very different and then on the back again I had a Natalie 24 on the back so I'm going to hang that up there now just moving on to scarves uh, if anybody remember the keen out videos that I did uh, the yellow and black keen out uh, we went ahead and bought the black and yellow scarf but it wasn't just for that I believe it was actually a colour uh, the club brought in so again very nice scarf there and then my next one is the very basic, I think nearly everyone has got one of these, the Blackburn Rovers scarf, like that. Very simple embroidery. And then obviously you have the club logo on there. So yeah, so that is my wonderful Blackburn Rovers collection of my shirt and scarves. If you did like it, Please give it a thumbs up, don't forget to comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in part two very soon. Alright, bye.